this okay yeah is my screen visible to all of you yes sir yes. yes okay fine thank you thank you very much for your response okay uh last time <clears throat> in the last time we have uh calculated the wind pressure uh from that onwards i'm uh continuing this one okay let's see how to calculate uh wind coefficients what are these wind coefficients generally uh in a pgb structure or in a steel structure we have to apply uh wind load in several cases uh generally uh the load uh, the wind load will be applied in uh eight cases but uh in the practical uh we have to apply only six cases only so what are those six cases let us see uh how we cannot apply directly wind load uh into the surface of the uh, structure so we have to use some coefficients those coefficients can be called as wind coefficients and there are some clauses and there are some tables in uh, is 875 part 3 so what are the clauses and tables we'll see now so basically in wind coefficients there are two types of uh, wind coefficients we'll use one is external and another one is internal wind coefficients so external wind coefficient is nothing but a coefficient will be applied from the outside surface of the building a coefficient uh, suppose if you see let us take this as a frame okay uh, so if the coefficient is applied from the outside of the building that can be called as if the coefficient is applied from the inside of the building it can be called as internal wind coefficient so uh, <clears throat> in the practical purpose uh, we use uh net coefficients net coefficients is nothing but the algebraic sum of internal and external coefficients okay for example uh let us take external wind coefficients for wall uh, this is located in table number 5 of is 875 part 3 so let's go to is 875 part 3 table number 5 here you can see Table number five: External pressure coefficients for walls only. Okay, for walls of rectangular cladding buildings. Okay, so there are several cases you can see here. So what are these several cases? So uh, from last time onwards, from the last class onwards, we are taking one example uh, to make sure how the wind coefficient or seismic coefficients are calculated. so i am using the same example for this session also so nothing but length of the building is 30 meters width 20 meters eu height nothing but uh, the height from base to the top of the eaves that is 6 meters and the roof slope is 1 in 10 okay dead load and live load are 0.3 and 0.6 respectively okay base spacing let us take nothing but the spacing the center to center distance between two successive frames that can be called as base spacing so that is uh, 5 meters each okay six numbers of 5 meters center to center spacing make 30 meters length of the building like that uh, i have taken one example that is the example i am using here okay so uh, for calculating external wind coefficients let's go to table number 5 in this table number 5 building height ratio first parameter we have to use is building height ratio nothing but h by w h by w is uh, if h by w is less than or equal to 1 by 2 one case if it is between 1 by 2 and 3 by 2 second case more than 3 3 by 2 to 6 third case there are several cases like that so for example uh, i have taken building uh, height as 6 meters right suppose Six divided by width of the building is nothing but the lateral, the shortest lateral dimension. That is six by twenty. That is zero point three. So one by two is zero point five. So we have got the value of zero point three. So first first case is the applicable for us, right? So in that again, two categories are there. 
L by W, length to width ratio, building plan ratio, you can see here, heading of the category. So length to width ratio, if it is in between 1 to 1.5, one case, 1.5 to 4, another case. So uh, what is the uh, uh, ratio for us, for our example? Let us see. So uh, width is 20 meters, length is 30 meters. So uh, which one I have to apply here? So length to width ratio. Length is 30 meters divided by width is 20 meters. That gives you 1.5. Yes. Okay. So 1 to 1.5. First case, right? You can see here. L by W is in between 1 to 1.5, including 1.5, less than or equal to, you can see, equal to symbol is here. So 1 to 1.5, first case. So we have to use this case only. Okay, we have to use this case only. So next, elevation. What is the height of the building, width of the building we have seen? Okay, so in this plan, A surface, B surface, C surface, D surface are there. So what are these surfaces? Suppose A surface, so this is the width of the building. Along the width of the building, two sides. One side is A, one side is B. Suppose, for example, I'm showing you here. So if the frame is like this, this is A surface, this is B surface. C surface and D surfaces are normal to the surface uh, along the Z direction, okay? C and, Z, uh, C and D surfaces are normal to the surface, normal to the our screen. Suppose let us take normal to screen. That is perpendicular to the screen. Okay, that is Z axis. So this one is A surface. This one is B. C and D are perpendicular to the screen. Okay, so A surface and B surface. There are two types of winds, zero degree wind, lateral wind. So generally in the practical wind can be, a uh, wind can act along any direction, right? So if it acts uh, along the X axis, one coefficient will be there. If it acts along the Z direction, one coefficient will be there. So sir, uh, you'll get doubts. Sir, what about Y direction? So we can, we will not, this is only for walls, right? We will not apply y direction on walls. We have to apply y direction on roofs only, right? So uh, this exam, this table is for only walls, right? So we are talking about x direction and z direction. So zero degree wind is nothing but uh, direction of the wind along x direction. Ninety degree wind is nothing but direction of the wind along z direction. Okay. For example, zero degree wind. Okay, if the goes, uh, if the wind goes uh, from left to right, first of all, let us see surface A for zero degree wind. What is the external coefficient here? You can see plus 0.7. Okay, plus 0.7 for zero degree wind along the surface A. Okay, I told you this as the surface A, this as the surface B. So along the surface A, we have to use plus points one. So obviously you will get one doubt. So what is this plus symbol and what is this minus symbol? Okay, so this plus symbol, plus symbol is uh, plus symbol denotes any wind quotient towards the surface of the building. Okay, this is external towards the surface of the building, right? So in this direction, Okay, along positive x direction. In this direction, it is 0.7, right? Plus is nothing but towards the surface, minus is nothing but away from the surface. Okay, I'm again telling you, plus is nothing but towards the surface, minus is uh, nothing but away from the surface. Okay, so obviously for surface B, surface B is nothing but 0.7 first case we have seen first this is surface b okay this is surface b only walls we are seeing now we are not talking about roofs okay for only walls a surface is 
B surface is what is the, uh, what about B surface? Uh, B surface is minus point two. Okay, let us see this as minus point two. Okay. So okay, first we have completed zero degree wind. Okay, here you can see we have completed zero degree wind for A and B surface. Uh, what are these C and D surfaces? C and D surfaces are nothing but the coefficients which have, we have to apply along the end wall frames only. Nothing but uh, on the end wall columns. Okay, so uh, we'll see these coefficients later. First of all, let's complete one main frame. We are completing coefficients for one main frame, which is in enclosed condition. These are not for open condition or partial enclosed condition. These are for enclosed conditions, okay? So for 90 degree wind, if the wind acts in this direction, okay? If the wind apply along C and D direction, there will be some pressure on A and B also, right? Not only uh, if the wind acts in A and B direction, there will be uh, A and B only. If the wind acts in C and D direction also, there will be some pressure exerting on A and B surfaces, right? So for 90 degree wind, uh, we have to use the maximum or critical one we have to take from these two A and B surfaces, okay? Only generally we will use only one case only, but here you can see minus 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5, the both are same, okay? If there are, if both are different, we have to use the critical case only which one is the critical, okay? So, but here in this case, both are same minus 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5. So I'm taking minus 0 0.5 here. So, okay. So these are external wall coefficients for external wall coefficient, external wind wall coefficients. Okay. Okay. I'm getting some disturbance. So, Okay, fine. So we have taken external coefficients for walls, right? So what about these internal coefficients? So internal coefficients, uh, we have to use clause number 7.3.2.1. So just have to go for 7.3.2.1 clause. 7.3.2.1. This is the 7.3.2.1 clause of buildings where the claddings permit the flow of air with openings not more than about five percent uh, why he has uh, given five percent cushion here nothing but generally any building will have certain number of doors and windows for ventilation right so he has left that five percent so okay except that five uh, within that five percent openings are okay so that can be called generally enclosed building so in these buildings uh, we have to take internal pressure being positive or negative so we have to take two play, two cases the design decision shall be example one with an internal pressure coefficient of plus point two and another with an internal pressure coefficient of minus point two so i'm just again telling you this plus Point two indicates point two is the coefficient from internally towards the surface. This is from internally away from the surface. Suppose if we take here, if it acts in this direction, this is towards the surface plus condition. If it acts away from the surface, sorry, if it acts away from the surface, that is negative one minus zero point two. Okay, so only same value, but it only with plus condition and minus condition, right? Plus point to one case, minus point to another case. So plus point two and minus point two. I am again telling you, plus point is nothing but internally towards the surface. Minus point is nothing but internally away from the surface. Okay. So first is pressure. Pressure is nothing but internally away from the surface so nothing but minus 0 0.2 all are same 